length of those notes after the G roll, I marked after those six bar rest where this part is. On my parts, I always mark sort of like a checkpoint which indicates the length of the note. That's where I mute the drum, okay? Until you hit the next line where the fortissimo is. The sforzando that comes after that, I figure out that the best way to bring those sforzandos out is to move maybe an inch into the drum. So that way you get that punchy sound without overdoing it. You don't have to change your grip or your technique. You can play the same stroke that you're using on the fortissimos or the fortes and just move a little bit farther into the drum and that will bring this forzando out. So that way it remains consistent. And I do that in all the Beethoven symphonies, just to make sure that it's never underplayed or overplayed. My teacher used to always say, if you can play Beethoven well, you can pretty much play everything. And I agree with that because if you can bring all these small details, the music really speaks and then it really trains you to be able to play anything else.